How strong are your business foundations? My name is Elaine Betts of GoFar Consulting. How important are the foundations of a building? And how does this relate to a business? A poor foundation creates a weak structure that could possibly fall. A strong foundation stands for many generations. The foundations of our business are just as important as the foundations of a building. A strong foundation enables a business to grow and flourish. If the foundations of our business are not strong enough to cope with the workload, our business is at risk of collapsing. And that is actually why 80% of businesses fail in the first few years. And that is a shame. In construction, a lot of work goes into getting the foundation set up correctly. Think about it, or the planning, the measuring, the ground levelling, the soil structure, the supports, the piers, not to mention the sweat and energy that goes into just preparing the foundation before the building even gets started. How often do we actually go into business by preparing first or just do we fall into it? It's really important to remember. It is important to have a foundation that is well planned, well thought out and sturdy enough to hold the structure together. It is important to be measured continually and inspected to make sure that everything is correct. We must continually measure and inspect our business in just the same way as buildings get measured and inspected. So what gets measured gets managed. I put the foundations of our business into four main categories and that's what I call the four M's. We have in our foundation method, management, momentum and money. And this makes up our foundation. So if we were to draw the foundation These here are our foundation. Now in a building you have the four walls which also give structure and, and cohesiveness to the building. And so one of our walls to our business and our building is the structure. How the business is set up. So that would be one of our walls. So this one here. is the structure that our business is set up as. The next one is getting the work. That involves sales and marketing and that is a whole huge area in itself. So another area is getting the work. Important to have the work so that we can actually have a business, right? So here is our next wall. getting the work, the sales and the marketing arm of our business. The next wall has to be the ability to do the work itself. That means we have to have the right knowledge, the right team, the correct equipment and enough resources when we need them. And that is the ability to do the work. That is our next wall. So it's actually doing the work uh, and having the ability to do that. And then the next one, the final one, is actually making a profit, which involves knowing the scope of work. It's about project management. It's about budgeting and finances. It's about team management and leadership. And also, very importantly, risk management. And that is our fourth wall. So it's all about making a profit, okay? So how strong are the foundations of your business? Does it need an inspection to evaluate the strengths and weaknesses? Check all aspects of your business. See where you might be at risk. 
If you would like a complimentary checklist, please download the assessment to help you understand the structure and strengths of your business. My name is Elaine Betts of GoFar Consulting and thank you for joining us today.